Hello everyone, this is Capture the Intelligence Channel. Today we are talking about NATO's upcoming largest military exercise since the Cold War. The exercise, called Steadfast Defender 2024秒, will take place in May of this year and will involve approximately 9 troops. The exercise will simulate how NATO would respond to a future Conflict with Russia, while the statement does not mention Russia by name, NATO documents identify Russia as the alliance's most significant and direct threat. The scale of the exercise is massive, involving all domains of warfare from sea, land, air and space. It will include over 50 ships, 80 fighter jets, drones, helicopters and at least 1,100 tanks including E-33 tanks and 533 infantry fighting vehicles, NATO's Supreme Allied Commander Europe. General Christopher Chris Cavalli says the exercise will rehearse NATO's execution of its territorial defense plans, the first such plans the alliance has developed in decades. Detailing how it would counter a Russian attack, the exercise will demonstrate NATO's ability to quickly deploy forces from North America and other parts of the alliance to bolster Europe's defenses. The last exercise of this scale was reforged in 1988 during the Cold War, which involved over 12,500 troops. Another large-scale exercise, Trident Juncture, took place in 2011 East. 5 troops, troops from NATO countries in Sweden, which are seeking to join the alliance, will participate in the exercise, which will involve simulated deployments to Europe and live fire exercises. Make no mistake, this exercise is about preparing for war for the United States. This is not just another training exercise, it is a clear signal that NATO sees a threat from Russia and is determined to be ready for a potential conflict. Meanwhile in Europe, Russia is also ramping up its own military preparations. A leaked German military document revealed that NATO is Bracing for a major Russian military build-up and an elaborate plan to launch a hybrid warfare offensive against the Baltic states starting in February 2024, NATO's exercise, which runs until May, is clearly a response to Russia's planned invasion of the Baltics, which is expected to begin in February. The leaked document suggests that Russia has already begun preparing for this operation, with plans to start positioning military equipment and supplies in its exclave of Kaliningrad between February and July 2024. Russia would then use this build-up to justify opening a corridor to Kaliningrad, potentially using nuclear weapons to deter NATO intervention and ultimately seizing the Baltic states of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia if the United States and NATO are not prepared. Russia could potentially succeed in quickly overrunning and annexing these three countries. However, Germany is clearly aware of Russia's plans and there is no indication that Russia is adjusting or delaying its strategy. In fact, Russian President Vladimir Putin recently made public statements suggesting that Russian speakers in the Baltics are being mistreated, setting the stage for Russia to use this as a pretext for military action. As NATO and Russia continue to bolster their military forces and engage in exercises and maneuvers, it is clear that tensions are rising and the risk of conflict is increasing. This is a situation that bears close watching in the coming months and years.